Scottish Matlacking here with Nicole and Craig. We've come back to Kirkcaldy, the home of Scottish spongeware. And we haven't been here for almost two years, so we're really excited to see how the beach has changed. We're going to look for some spongeware, transferware and anything to do with the old potteries that once stood here. Now anybody who's watched our videos before will know that this wee burn here is where the potteries, or at least the methylene pottery, used to dump its... Uh, well, anything that really wasn't suitable for sale. They'd dump it in here and a young woman would come along and they would collect all the pottery pieces, make up wee sets and then sell them door to door around the tin. So we'd expect to find little pieces of pottery around here and um, things like, uh, like this right in front of us here. Uh, that's a kiln stilt. If you want to know more about kiln stilts, we've done a video on that. So these used to space the pottery that was being fired in the kilns. And there were some massive kilns that used to exist here in Kirkcaldy. The sky was basically filled with smoke because of the kilns. See there as well, there's a tiny wee one that I'd missed. So they're both the same kind of uh, kiln still. Uh, but obviously that one's meant to separate much smaller things than that one. But we'll have these. These are cool. So Nicole and I have just come along to uh, the edge of the burn here. You can see the burn. That's the burn. <laughs> and it's beautiful on a day like this when the sun is just glistening off the surface. But we're not here to admire the water. We're here to see if we can find some spongeware and uh, other items that are associated with the potteries that used to be here. It's this here. Ah. Yeah, that's a, a kiln stilt. And I always think these look like uh, duffel coat buttons. They kind of do, don't they? <laughs> yeah. There's another piece here. Now, this is a fractured piece that would have uh, looked more kind of triangular shape. But I'm really looking for some of these pyramids. Right. Now, we were here the other day and we found a couple of them. Uh, so, that's pretty hopeful. We should be able to find them. Now, what <laughs> I'm looking for is right here. Uh, do you want to grab these? Yeah, I'll take this one. Right here, just a moment ago, I saw a really nice piece of uh, red sponge where... Oh. It just, it was tiny though, so I'm not sure if it's usable. It wasn't this piece, that's just plain, you can see there. Now, I'm just going to see if I can find that again. Oh, I think it's maybe Oh, it is, yeah. it is, is it that, that one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, you can see why I said it was tiny, right? Yeah. It's this piece right here. It. That really is very tiny. Is it, or maybe it's bigger. Oh, no, no, it is tiny. Oh, that it's is It's super tiny. tiny. Yeah, that's even too small for an earring. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we can do anything with that. What do you reckon? Do you want to leave that? Yeah, I think we might leave that and look for something a little bit more, uh, well, bigger in size. Usable. What about that cup handle? Oh, <laughs> teapot handles, <laughs> yeah. Do you teapot handle yeah. or I think a teacup? A uh, teacup, uh, probably yeah, a teacup handle, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, they make really nice shapes when you put them together, so you can make like little heart shapes and things like that. So, we'll take this one. Now, we're looking for pottery specifically, but do you know what? If we find wee nuggets like this, wee nice wee bits of uh, sea glass, then I think, you know, we might as well have them, eh? Yeah, of course, so we'll take some. Swoop glass. that up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That'll have to do instead of that wee piece of red pottery, which was just far too small. Now, if we're looking through here, uh, just bang the screen or give us a shout if you see anything that we miss. <laughs> yeah. Now, I can see quite a lot of kiln stilts here. Ah, yeah. Uh, today, there's another one right in front of us there. It's right in the centre of the screen. It's this one here. It wasn't that oh. one, actually. Oh, it was right. that one above this it. One. Yeah, that ah, one. Yeah, yeah. So, there's two. They're both slightly different. Um, do you know what we should do? Bit here, yeah. We should see if we can create a big pile. Ooh. of kiln stilts Ooh, and try yeah. and say kiln stilts. I find it quite a tongue twister just to say the word kiln stilt. <laughs> say kiln stilt, kiln stilt, kiln stilt. No, maybe not. I'm just going to go and see if I can find some more along the stretch of uh, the burn here. There's one. I think there are lots of kiln stilts in the barn here. There's one. Oops. There's another one. Can you see them all? I think it's easier if you look from above. And then you can see them. 
and sometimes we can also hear them uh, as they're kind of moving with the water so the burn makes a lovely kind of clinky sound what's that? Oh, a piece is it plain? it's plain these are clamshells got to be more pieces here can you see any? oh thank you I can see them it's right here see this is the kind of sound <laughs> the burn makes There's another piece of kiln still, you can actually see two there, three if we count that one, and we come down here we have another one of these, uh, I think I've often joked before that these are like Thor's hammers, whereas Nicole sees them as duffel coat buttons, they look like, they definitely look like duffel coat buttons, there's no denying that, still, we Thor's hammer. <laughs> now it's quite cool, we seldom find these anywhere else. Um, we find quite a lot of them quite regularly here and as I say these then basically separated pieces of pottery that were put into the kiln and uh, I think what I'll do is I'll pop a link rather than rehearse that entire story again I'll pop a little link in the description if you're interested to know a wee bit more about how these uh, kiln stilts were used you can check that out now, have we uh, come to the end of the kiln stilts? Well, what I can see is one really nice piece of sea glass. And I can see a kiln stilt over there as well. I think it's a bit there. Can you see the sea glass though? Just in there. Never sure if my finger's pointing the right way. <laughs> there we go. Quite a nice bit. I think this was about a bottleneck an interior bottleneck you can maybe see the threads, there's a little bit of thread there, a little bit of thread there but we can see that it's clear enough, let me take a closer look at that in just a minute for the moment I'm going to take that, it's really chunky for a bottleneck and we'll take this little kiln still as well now I'm going to get along and see how Nicole's been doing because uh, I think she's been piling them up just alongside the burn here I'm going to take these take this one as well. Now that piece of pottery here has nothing on it. But this piece of pottery, just up here, that has a beautiful wee design on it. There we go managed to re-find one of those little triangles in fact there's two I'm not sure if you can see them there's one right there and the other one is in the water let's grab this one first hopefully that's whole I can't see if it is yet much bigger than I thought it was as well that's cool a wee bit broken that one I don't see any numbers on it um, but what we'll do is we'll get uh, all the sand off that and we'll take a closer look at it in just a second. So let's have that. Now, I think whilst I'm grabbing this one out of the water, I'm going to give that other one a wee wash. Can you see the one in the water? It's just there. So how is your hand for sponge mail coming along? Terribly, but what I have found are all these. Oh wow! So, that's some of the kiln stilts that I've been finding just along the, um, the wee burn here. Wow! Um, I've got a couple of other wee bits and bobs in my pocket, in fact I say a couple, I mean one, just another <laughs> kiln stilt. 
So that's basically what I've been finding so far. Okay. Have you been finding any sponge pottery? I have found a couple of pieces of sponge wear just in this key area, just by turning over every single piece of pottery. So yeah, let's take a look at the pile that I've made so far of all the sponge wear. And I'm really happy with your field furniture. Cool. I think I'm going to just add your finds to the pile that I've been making here and then we can take a closer look and see what kind of pottery pieces we found so far. Okay, dogs. Well, I think we've done really well and we've got a broad selection of different types of kiln furniture here already. So this is what you've found and this is what I've found so far. See, Nicole's pile's a wee bit bigger than mine, folks. Uh, <laughs> that's the select. Um, wee bits that I've picked up uh, by the, the burn there. Yeah. And Nicole's also been by the burn, but a wee bit further down than me. And she found quite a few wee pieces there. And lots of these big chunky pieces of kiln stilts as well, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're really, really big. I mean, I absolutely love the, uh, the pyramids. I think they're just so peculiar and so amazing. Now I found two of them. One of them still has the little buttons on the bottom. Uh, but what I didn't find was any numbered pieces. Now, did ah. we find numbered pieces here or was that elsewhere? No, that's here and uh, it's uh, it's usually number three and four, I think, and uh, they are very rare. And we have made uh, jewellery with those as well. Very uh, cool. So, I see as well, in addition, so we've got kind of half the battle here is done, right? All the yeah. kiln furniture, that's the kind of stuff that separated all the ceramics when they were being fired in the kilns at the Methven Pottery, which is just up the road from here. And all that stuff, as we said earlier, um, anything that wasn't working or was broken or was rubbish, it was just tipped into this burn here. So we found this stuff, um, and I can see there you've also found a couple of wee pieces of spongeware. Yeah, I found this piece here and that's, I think, it's the um, a pattern that is uh, inspired by the Glasgow Rose. So that would be the Rennie Macintosh Rose, you reckon? Yeah, I think that's that one and we find that here, um, well, quite frequently, not in uh, very many other places. And that's really nice. Sadly, it's just a half flower. <laughs> it is indeed. So you got a wee leaf here as well. And yeah. then there's a wee bit of transfer wear. So yeah. what I reckon we should do now now that we've found all this stuff is, we should crack on and we should see if we can find a lot more sponge wear pieces. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Maybe we can cross the burn. Oh, oh look! What is it you see? Is it that wee blue bit of sea glass or is it that bit of pottery? I didn't actually see the blue bit of sea glass, but I did see that piece of pottery. Now we're going to go over and we'll get that wee bit of blue glass in a minute, but let's take a closer look at this first. That's quite a cool piece. Yeah, and it's sponge wear as well. You can almost see the, where the sponge has been kind of hand applied. I love this kind of homely quality that sponge wear has. Now, is that a horseshoe? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a horseshoe. Do you know what? It could be a lucky piece. Yeah, lucky could... piece for someone. Could be. It's not very Just, big, yeah. um, but you know, it's big enough and it's blue yeah. and you know what we say, no blue pieces ever left behind. Yeah, it's a good size as well. It's so, alright, it's a good size for an earring I guess, mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I think this is time for, can you, you see, see it? it? <laughs> Hopefully you can, it's actually quite cool. It's a really nice wee piece and it's got a red design and the closer I get to it, the more convinced I am that it's transfer wear ah. and not at all sponge wear. It's that yeah, wee piece right it there. It is, that's a really lovely piece. It looks like it's got a rose pattern on it and it is indeed transfer wear like you say. That's really nice. I've just noticed there's a little uh, breadcrumb trail, as I like to see here. And we're going to start with this piece. It's a pirate glass bottleneck. So I'm going to pick that one up first. Really nice, nice and smooth. It's almost frosted on the inside. OK, 
Okay, what's next on the treasure trail? It's this little pyramid. And then I'm going to just show you and see if you can see it. It's pirate glass. It's a really, really gorgeous piece of pirate glass, a chunky, chunky bottle bottom. And uh, there we are. I've got these two other pieces in there. Now this is really nice, look. Oh, that's so, I'm gonna put these down. Now that's so well frosted. You can see this, it looks like it's sparkly, but you can't tell it's glass because there's the tiniest piece here where it's uh, relatively recently chipped. Now that's the bottom of a bottle. Now which way would it go? Would go, I think, this way? No, this way. Got to go this way. Now that, it's really heavy. I mean, it's just, a, it's a solid, solid piece of glass. Really nice. It's actually going to be uh, green, if you hold it against the light. Really, really dark olive green. And it would have held beer and if you want to know what pirate glass is do check out our other videos uh, on pirate glass now we've got these three pieces we're going to go over and see what Craig's found I know he's definitely found some birds um, and some waves gonna pick these up because I think uh, a few people have been requesting these so really nice chunky big pieces of uh, pirate glass these are really cool I mean, Nicole loves these for uh, just uh, organizing me display pieces and thankfully we're getting down here more kiln stilts then and those nice wee uh, pyramid ones now I'm gonna grab these and you can maybe see just in front of me there there's another piece of pirate glass and then we'll get along and we'll see what Nicole's found and look at that super chunky super well frosted and just an awesome piece of pirate glass look at that Sometimes you just have to get really close to the ground and then treasures are revealed. Now this looks like it's a piece of transferware and it's brown and it has a really delicate pattern on it. Really nice shape. It has some floral leaves on it or some leaves and maybe a part of a little bird. I'm going to take this piece and I'll put it on here. See if we can see that better. That's a really gorgeous piece, and I really love that the uh, the shape is already like a drop shaped. A hundred and uh, well, a hundred years in the sea, maybe a hundred and ten, twenty years, and a broken piece of pottery becomes a little gem. Ah, and you can see it was part of a plate before. Uh, it's a really nice piece. Yeah, that's going to be a pendant. What do you make of these? Those are some lovely pirate glass pieces. They're really amazing and they're so heavy. I mean, if if, um, if I could compare this to, that, that's probably like the, the weight of a piece of butter or something. So only three pieces of glass and they're so heavy. Quite cool, huh? Yeah. Now, I know you were looking for some more super chunky pirate glass. Does that fit the bill? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That's really cool. And you found them all in one area. That's yeah, cool. sitting right next to each other. Ha. Let's have them. Now, you can probably see Nicole's bag just sat there on the beach. <laughs> uh, there's a piece of uh, blue pottery. Is it blue pottery? It's blue glass. Blue glass? Yeah. Okay. We were looking for pottery, but as I said before, glass we shall have to take as well. Now, there's a wee piece 
the pottery here. Uh -huh. It's it's neither sponge wear nor transfer wear, um, but it does have a wee bit of a glaze on it. Yeah. But another interesting thing that I've just seen is this. Oh. Do you think that is? Do you think that's the neck of a bottle? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's a little uh, bottle neck. I think it's a little bit too thin to be a cod bottle piece. Now that's weird because this. No, yeah. oh, I think you're right. I think you're right. Mm. It is maybe a wee bit too thin. It's quite cool. A wee bit shiny. Awkward shape. Heart shape. Heart shape. Yeah. I have to have no. that then. <laughs> okay. bag wee bit of a giveaway there <laughs> so if we're looking for a piece of blue sea glass and we say it's right beside the bag it's uh it's it's a bit of a big hint isn't it <laughs> yeah. okay yeah. but yeah I, I, can, I can see the glass um just right in there to the north shall we say <laughs> to the north of the bag now can i see the glass now yes there it is now, I can see that that piece is still a little bit wet and uh, I was really quite shocked. Somebody contacted us through Instagram and said that they managed to find some pirate glass because they remembered we'd said that glass stays a little wet, a little bit longer than pebbles. Yeah, yeah, so you can see them if it still looks shiny when all the pebbles around it are dry. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know, that's probably not UV, is it? No, no, Just a I wee think bit that's of sea foam. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's green. You probably can't see that through the camera oh, with the right. light. But yeah, no, that's a kind of a light olive green. I think we're definitely going to take that blue bit. Okay, let's have that then. Um, and we'll take a wee scan around here whilst we're here. Now that we're here, let's have a wee peek about. Uh, there's a few things here. I mean, there's uh, it's definitely more sea glass than pottery that I'm seeing here. Uh, there's a really big, chunky piece of uh, sea foam there. Oh, yeah. Um, oh! That is really nice. Now, it's not the kind of thing that we can keep and it's not the kind of thing that we can actually make any jewellery from. There's actually a couple of things here that are quite cool. But this little bottle bottle. Oh, that is very nice. It, it sparkles is. in the sun. That's in it. Yeah. That's very cute. Uh -huh. It is rarer uh, to find a brown pirate glass than it is to find green pirate glass. Oh, oh. Look how shiny that is inside. Oh. But look at how tiny it is inside. Yeah, yeah. As well. I'll tell you something. You'd have to have been really, really... Well, you couldn't have been too thirsty, let's say that. Oh, look, it's a glass, actually, I think. Is it? it looks, this looks like it's the, the edge of a glass, like a jar. You can maybe see here what Nicole's talking about. There seems to be uh, a lip on the top there so it looks as if there might have been a top mm. um real realistically just on top of here like you know a lid just a normal lid yeah so it's been a wee jar uh, rather than being a bottle i think right it might have held some sort of cream in it before uh most creams were moved into uh, milk glass jars that's very unusual to find half a jar here well we're going to take that just yep. to have a closer look at it if mm -hmm. nothing else and just maybe to get a wee bit of sunlight through that because it's quite a nice color oh, and yeah. it's nice and thick as well that'll look like gold in the sun yeah let's have that now we just stood up to start our search again and i said to nicole oh i just saw something quite cool can you see it? Yeah, if that's what I, I, I if, if it's what I think you see in. No, Nicole can see it. <laughs> can you see it? Okay, the hint is it's blue. Okay, right. ah, yeah. then, then I can see it, yeah, yeah. It's not the kind of dark cobalt blue that we like to find. Oh, do you know what? There's a beautiful, beautiful green piece just alongside it as well. Oh yeah, that's very nice. And that looks like it's quite well frosted as well. 
what you found there is part of a bottle. That's unusual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, not frosted on the inside. Not frosted at all on the inside. Yeah, maybe broken quite recently. It's a lovely colour. It is uh, a little bit shiny, so I think we might leave that here. It's also a little bit big, yeah. just just for a wee bit of a point of uh, reference here. Um, yeah, I don't think that would be a, a very wearable thing. It's a very cool piece of glass. But this mm -hmm. piece of green, though, on the other hand, I think is quite remarkable. It's quite a beautiful shade of green as well. Yeah. If that stays remotely that colour mm. uh, by the time it dries, that's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. Do you know what I think we should get that? and that little bottle piece uh, up into the sun and let's have a look at their true colours okay <laughs> there's so much kiln furniture in here an incredible amount now <laughs> I'm not even I'm not even going to ask you to try and count it all because See the piece here, piece here, piece there, piece there, piece there. There was one piece that I saw um, that was among the rarer uh, pieces that we found. But just before I go to that, uh, Nicole's just pointed out this wee piece of, um, of sponge ware here. It's quite a lovely wee piece as well. It looks brown, maybe red. Oh, it's red actually, and it's yeah. almost heart shaped. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's transfer wear as well. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah, I think so. It's got uh, these uh, little lines within the pattern that usually tells me it's uh, transfer wear. I can see some other treasures here. I think we should maybe have a quick look around here. Yeah, okay, let's take five minutes. Um, grab that piece and we'll take five minutes to have a wee look around here. Now, there was a piece. Nicole's just trying to distract me from the piece <laughs> that I was trying to find. Um, we're going to come back and get that because it's a really nice wee piece of spongeware. Now, I was talking about the kiln furniture. Oh. Do you know what? We should really take a picture of this and make a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how long that would take to fill. Um, now, where is it? It was such an unusual piece of kiln furniture. Oh, we can yeah. see all these wee pieces. We see these all over the place. It's not that. Was it one um, of those round pieces? It was. Like it okay. was, yeah, and it had a little kind of a little dip in it. Is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly the type that you mean. So um, I can describe it, but you know, <laughs> it was in shot just a second ago. Oh no! It must be here. Maybe it's still. Oh, it's got to be here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely. Oh there, there, there! I can see it. You can. can? Yeah, yeah. Just above the the red uh, brick. Ah, Is yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Now here's the question, how many pieces of kiln furniture can you see in the <laughs> shot here just now? And can you see the one piece that I couldn't see that Nicole refound for me? It's this piece. Now this is much, much, much uh, rarer to find these pieces really. Yeah. We seldom see them. I realise I'm casting shadow all over it. I'm going to put it down there. Now you can probably see it looks like there might actually be something printed in there as well. Yeah. Very hard to see. It might be the size number from the manufacturers. I like those pieces because you know you can put a marble on them and then you put a marble stand. <laughs> Three marble stand there folks. We'll have that as a rarer piece. Now Nicole had seen a wee piece of uh, spongeware over here so yeah. we're constantly playing the game of we find something, we walk away from it and then we're asking can we see it again. Oh. What I can see though is a wee teacup handle, see that? Oh yeah. That's, that's a cute really wee cute. one. Yeah, yeah. We'll so take that. You can also see there's a shelf. <laughs> <laughs> More pieces of pottery around here. Mm -hmm. Lots and lots of shards of pottery. Lots of clean pottery. Tons of shards of pottery. Look at this. Yeah. Lots of clean pottery. It's great for crafting, the clean pottery. Oh, I think I found a piece that you'd lost. That's that the piece. one, yeah. Oh, I love a bit of purple pottery. That's uh, one of the rarer colours. Blue is, uh, I think, probably the most prolific colour we find. But purple, goodness, I love a bit of purple pottery. <laughs> Do you know what's amazing here as well is that everything that we're putting up here just now are just shards of pottery. That has just the, the merest hint of a piece of colour on it as well. Do you know what I reckon we could get a pile? <laughs> about four feet high <laughs> if we were to pile up all the pottery in this wee area. Yeah. We lit I think we literally could to be honest because there is just a ton of old pottery pieces. 
uh, just sitting in here and some of them huge chunky pieces like this as well yeah and you really got to look around and uh, basically turn over every single piece and then you'll probably find one that has a bit of a pattern on it or you could use the white pieces to do some crafting with well here's the question do we want to keep doing this or do we want to grab up that wee bit of spongeware and uh, maybe have a wee hunt around this area and see if we can find something super nice yeah, I think we'll have a quick look around here and then we need to go cross that barn. Yep. I just found a wee piece of pottery around here somewhere and then Nicole had a wee gasp <laughs> and it's clear this is one of the things you've got to watch for right if you come down uh if you come down to the beach no <laughs> if you come down to the beach and you're looking for sea glass or you're looking for pottery you'll never find every every single piece you might think you can but this footprint right here <laughs> this this footprint tells us that somebody walked right by that because it's really, really difficult to spot and I think only the trained eye can actually spot it. Now that is a really, really lovely piece and it did look sort of black from the top but I think it's actually a turquoise rather than blue. Uh, once we take it out, it's going to be gorgeous. Now, I haven't really been having the luck with the, uh, the spongeware pieces, but we have found some really nice glass. And I think this is just a beautiful, beautiful wee chunk of uh, cobalt blue sea glass that's beautifully frosted as well. So I think I might take that as my last find of the day and uh, we'll get along and we'll see what Nicole's found. Hopefully, she's done a wee bit better and had some luck with that uh, hunt <laughs> for those spongeware pieces. Let's go check it out. Well, how did you do for uh, spongeware pieces then? Have much luck? No, I didn't find any spongeware. I did find a really, really gorgeous piece of transferware though. I just <laughs> found a bunch of sea glass and some cool kiln stilts. <laughs> Okay, why don't we just have a look at our best finds of the day then? Okay, let's do that. Well, that's our best finds of the day then. I'm going to pop this wee piece of uh, uh, patterned pottery around it. We've got some really cool um, pirate sea glass. Um, and I know that people have been crying out for that, so we should be expecting <laughs> to see some of that in the shop very soon. Now, we did okay in the end, I reckon. Uh, Nicole found some really nice pieces of pottery there. I think we'll take some photographs of that stuff and uh, we'll let you see that in some slides there. We also found, um, I think, a flange <laughs> of, uh, of uh, kiln stills mm -hmm. of all shapes and sizes, including some of the, uh, the rarer ones, like this partial round piece there. Um, and some chunky sea glass as well. Let's not forget that wee jar bottom there. Mm -hmm. And I think Nicole found this peg. It looks like a peg yeah, to me. A yeah. couple of wee plastic bits and bobs. Yeah. But I think all in, I think we've done okay, what do you reckon? I think we've done really well and uh, we haven't been here for such a long time and this is really very, very typical of what you can find in Kokori. Kiln furniture, pirate glass, pottery and if you're really lucky, you might even find a marble. We didn't find one today, but I'm very happy with what we did find. Okay, let's pack that all up then and get back off to the car. Thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a minute to subscribe. An extra special thanks goes out to everybody who's been supporting the channel through Etsy and through your Kofi donations. That really makes a massive difference and it keeps the lights on. We're going to see you next time. Thank you.